Hey y'all, welcome back for a DIY small entryway makeover on a budget, of course. We're going to be painting an accent wall and doing some finishing work on our baseboards today before bringing in our brand new entryway table that I cannot wait to show you. I also wanted to share some of my best entryway decorating ideas. These are things that will keep your space functional but also make a really good first impression for any guests that walk through the door. So if you're excited for this, give it a thumbs up and let's get started by first taking a look at the space that we're working in. So walking through my front door, this is our entryway and on camera it might look like it's a pretty big space but in person it's only about five to six feet of wall space and it's open concept with our formal living room so it gets kind of lost in the mix. We also had our baseboards replaced recently so I wanted to show you that there were gaps that I caulked off camera and then I'm going to go in to paint our accent wall and this was actually a decision that I had been thinking about for quite some time what I wanted to do paint wise. We've been slowly transitioning all of the main living areas of our home to the color Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore. I love it. It is such a great creamy white color that reflects a lot of white and brightens a space without making it feel sterile because it does have warm undertones. So when I was picking out a color for this accent wall, I knew I needed something that was going to complement that but still stand out on its own. So I settled on natural cream. This color is also by Benjamin Moore and I absolutely love it. It was a perfect decision. It makes such a statement contrasted against the Swiss coffee, but it also just flows with the rest of the space. You'll see at the end of the video, it is just an excellent choice and I can't recommend it enough. And I did want to point out while you're watching me paint this wall that when I am rolling the paint on, I like to start with this kind of W or zigzag motion before I start rolling up and down. And you'll see me do that because it kind of disperses the paint across the space that you're going to be painting or rolling. And then as your roller starts to lose paint, it will pick it back up there and that just gives you a very even opaque one coat coverage. So I was able to cover up this agreeable gray with just one coat of the natural cream and you cannot see any of the agreeable gray underneath. And then I just kind of went for it and decided to take that natural cream down onto the baseboards as well. This was a bit of a risky move and I decided to do it because that's what we've been doing with the Swiss coffee. We've been going for that monochromatic look in the rest of our spaces. You can really see it in my master bedroom makeover that I shared recently along with like an in-depth tutorial for how to caulk and paint baseboards. So if you're going to be doing any kind of work on baseboards or any kind of DIYs like that, I definitely suggest you go back and watch that video because it's a great like tutorial style right in the beginning of the video for how to do those things. But I was going for a monochromatic look with the Swiss coffee so I thought that it might work with this natural cream as well but I am going to ask for you guys' opinions because I'm still a little bit uncertain. Okay, so it's been a few days and in that time a lot has happened. Derek painted the upper portion of this wall in the natural cream for me because y'all know I'm terrified of heights and so I'm so grateful he got up on the ladder and I didn't have to. And while he had the ladder out, he painted all of this in Swiss coffee, which is what the entire rest of the living room is going to be. And he did the crown molding as well, which matches the door trim. I haven't painted the door yet, just the door trim. And then later on in this video I'm going to paint this agreeable gray to Swiss coffee this door trim and this door as well but the last thing that you guys saw me doing was painting the baseboards natural cream and that was the plan for the baseboards and the crown molding and then all of the doors were going to be Swiss coffee and then all of these walls as well well I really like the way that the crown molding up there looks. I feel like it's a good seamless transition from this wall to the rest of the rooms while still making a statement with this being an accent wall in its own kind of space. So now I need some help. What would you guys do? Should I leave this baseboard in natural cream or should I paint it the Swiss coffee? I'm stumped, I don't know. Please vote down in the comments and I'm just gonna go with whatever the majority of you say because I really can't make up my mind. I'm also thinking about painting this door in the natural cream just to play off of this wall, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll just play that by ear. I'm also not sure what I should do 
with the front door if I should make that white Swiss coffee or if I should make that natural cream as well so I'd love to hear some input about that also but in the meantime this is where our entryway table has been and this is what the room is looking like so I need to get all of this cleared off so that I can move it into place wipe it down and start decorating the entryway so this is the formal living space that I was talking about earlier when I said that our entryway is open concept in this part of the floor plan of our house and that can be a bit of a challenge because it's such a large room when you look at it as one space like we have our actual wood burning fireplace and the bookshelf area next to it and then a sitting space that is directly across from the fireplace but then on the opposite side is our entryway or the walkway from our front door and so it kind of creates this oddly shaped room that has been a struggle to figure out with furniture layout, rugs, decor that complements but still feel separate. It has just, it's been a headache to be honest trying to figure it out and if you've been around on my channel for a while then you know that I have had all of the furniture in and out of this place trying to figure out what works best in this space. I think that I finally have gotten it figured out and I think that painting that accent wall helped so much to separate the space without a physical separation like a wall or a divide but anyway we're going to put the entryway table into place and I'm going to show you a close-up because I absolutely love it and I can't wait to show you and tell you all the details for where we got it I wish that y'all could see this cabinet up close in person. It is just absolutely gorgeous, especially with these new floors. They're the perfect complement to this like gray green color and then the wood, the warm wood shelves on the inside. It's just so pretty. This marble top makes it look so much more expensive and designer than it actually is. I mean, we just found it at Home Sense a couple of months ago. And I love that the natural cream complements that white top so it doesn't just blend in. It really stands out, especially in person. And it goes so well with both the marble top and this green color and the wood inside and the Swiss coffee is a great compliment. I just love it. I can't wait to style it and see it all come together. Now, like I said, we found this at HomeSense a couple of months ago, and HomeSense doesn't have an online website, but since then, I have found a smaller cabinet version. It's basically like cut in half, so it's two doors, still the same marble top, same design, same color, same leg, same everything online i think currently available or if it is currently available i'll link it down in the description box you could get one to use in a smaller entryway or just a decorative cabinet in any space you need or you could put two together to create this look but it's just absolutely stunning and i can't wait to see it all come together so the first thing that I wanted to do for the entryway decor was to hang this statement mirror centered on the wall above the entryway cabinet. It's not centered on the wall as a whole because when we open our front door that takes up some of the wall space, but I do want to center it above the entryway table and just have it take up all of this wall space, but also add some function here because you can of course check your teeth, check your hair, and then also create the illusion of a window. Since we have limited natural light you can see how much brighter it got when I hung that mirror this is a great trick it reflects all of the light and just makes it kind of feel like there's a light source there when there really isn't then on either side of the mirror I have statement decor pieces so a big lamp on one side this beautiful vase with these a floral stems on the other and then in the center I put a little piece of artwork a wooden decorative bowl for keys and wallets and a decorative box where I like to keep things like chapstick and a travel size hair hair gel for my husband. Anything you might need to use on your way out the door when looking in the mirror is in that box. It's a great way to add function without compromising the aesthetic. But then once I had the tabletop finished, I wanted to work inside of the cabinet on these shelves. And I knew the first thing I wanted to do was get some storage bins. So I found these pretty large faux leather ones. They are just absolutely stunning and they fit perfectly on this bottom shelf. My initial thought was to use them for shoe storage because this is an entryway but you could use them to store anything really and then I'm putting all of my purely decorative pieces on that top shelf making sure to alternate in height and then also shape of everything and keeping a very neutral base color palette you can always change up your decor with pops of color for seasonal and holiday decorating but I like to keep the base as neutral as possible 
Before I close up these cabinet doors and the glass gets too reflective to see through, I just wanted to give you guys a close-up view of what we're working with here. I love these faux leather decorative storage boxes. They are gorgeous, large and in charge. They fit in that bottom shelf perfectly and there's four of them. So one for each member of the family and I'm thinking we can use them for shoe storage as long as my kids don't slam these cabinet doors and break the glass, but they are soft clothes. So I don't think that that would happen. But I'm a little unsure about the decorative pieces on those top shelves. I love the alternating shapes. The only thing I'm unsure of is this stack of boxes is taller than this stack of books. And I added a third book in there, you can see, to try to balance it out, and it's still a lot shorter. But then I was thinking this vase here is a lot taller than both of these items, so maybe it does balance out the height. But then we have three items over here and five over here, which are both odd numbers, but I don't know. You guys will have to give me your opinion. Does it look too cluttered? Does it look too off balance? Or have I got it right here, especially in conjunction with like the tabletop portion of it. What do you guys think of the whole look? But now that we have all of this finished and I got all of my decorating done, I'm going to start painting the door here, Swiss coffee and these walls and then decide what color I want with this door. I feel like now that I can see the full look, I'll be able to decide if I want this Swiss coffee or natural cream. At this point, I feel like I am just rambling through this entire video. I hope that you all don't mind, but I just want to have your opinions on everything for this one. I have never struggled with decisions the way that I have in this space. So you can see me here painting my bedroom door Swiss coffee and I felt like that was the right move for this door because I have it open most of the time and my entire bedroom is Swiss coffee but then I was just kind of in paint mode and wasn't thinking and I went to paint the coat closet door and kept that Swiss coffee as well but I'm really not sure if this is the right decision and I would love to know what you would do so would you keep it this Swiss coffee and just kind of have it blend in with this entire wall space and disappear into it or would you paint it the natural cream color which is the entryway accent wall color and have it kind of extend the entryway in a sense and keep your eye moving I guess past where the entryway table ends. I feel like it would make sense because a coat closet is typically in an entryway area but also that it would keep your eye moving and make it appear to be a more grand entryway but then also there could be just so much space in between that it would look really random and weird I don't know I cannot decide I talk myself into it and talk myself out of it in cycles and just can't figure it out for myself so I would love to hear your opinions and whatever the majority of you say that I should do with that coat closet door and with the baseboards that's just what I'm gonna do because I've been having such a struggle trying to figure it out on my own also I wanted to point out that while painting these doors you're going to see me switching back and forth between my paintbrush and a foam roller that's just because of those decorative kind of cutouts on the doors and then also I left all the doorknobs and hinges on so I'm using the paintbrush to cut in around those areas and then a four inch foam roller to roll the paint on to all of the large flat surface spaces on the doors. This method works really well for me. I also got super lazy and cheap and decided that I didn't want to go out and get an actual paintbrush roller or waste a roller head for this small stretch of wall around the coat closet door. So I just used that tiny little foam roller to paint all of that wall space. It wasn't too much, so it really didn't take me too much time, but it did take me three coats because that foam roller is not meant to be painting on a wall.
After only a 30 second break from my rambling, I'm gonna talk your ear off again and remind you what this space looked like before we started in on this project and then show you what it is looking like now. And oh my goodness, I love it. This is exactly what I had envisioned. I think that this is the perfect first impression when you walk into my home. It is the perfect mix of function and aesthetic and I just could not be happier with how this turned out. I can't wait to hear what you all think of it and I hope that I was able to share some ideas that you might be able to use in your own space or at least some concepts that you can apply to your space. So if I did give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time with me today and I'll see you in the next one.